Hi everyone, Caroline here. In this video, I want to share with you how to properly create a simple but powerful and effective circle crystal grid so that you're not short-circuiting its energy or sabotaging your manifestation process. Creating a circle crystal grid or using the geometry of a circle seems like a really simple thing, but it's so easy to get it wrong. And if you get it wrong, then the thing that you're trying to create, the thing that you're trying to manifest may not show up in physical reality. And then you start wondering, what happened to my manifestation? Is my crystal grid working or is it not working? And of course, there are many reasons why things happen or don't happen. But for those who are into crystal grids or those who are using the energy of the circle or circular crystal grids in particular, get excited because I'm going to share with you some very important things you need to know about how to create a circular grid or how to use the circular energy so that you don't sabotage your creation or whatever it is that you want to manifest. You know, there are some shapes which really matter in the creation process and the circle shape is one of them. This geometry of the circle has been revered since time immemorial. It's one of those shapes that are considered to represent the one, the source energy, the God energy, the beginning, where it all begins, perfection energy, wholeness energy. It goes on and on, just like time. It never ends. It is a continuous energy and so much information has been brought forth about the energy of the circle or the sacred geometry of the circle. You can find that information online. And as a matter of fact, I've also made some videos on this channel, which I'm going to place on a link at the end of the video. Okay. You know, it's interesting that many people use the energy of the circle, either consciously or unconsciously to achieve specific things. Some people use circles for protection or shielding or for barriers or as a support mechanism. People form circles to allow someone or something in the center of the circle to become the focus of attention. So I'm sure you've heard about dance circles where people form a circle and then someone goes in the center of the circle and then dances like crazy and everyone around the circle is kind of supporting the person in the center. It's so much fun. I'm sure you've seen those circles or even been a participant, right? Yeah, don't lie. You've been a participant in those dance circles. And it's all good. It's all good. Yeah? Okay. And then we also have things like healing circles or prayer circles or sister circles or mastermind circles, all types of circles that focuses energy around a central theme or a central topic or subject. And usually that subject is in the center of the circle and the circle of unified minds surrounds the main subject. People use circles for a whole lot of things, including crystal grids, which is the main subject of this video. Okay, for those using the energy of the circle for their crystal grids, the first thing we have established is that the focus point of a circle is in the center of the circle. This is where the energy is concentrated, in the center. This is where the magic happens. So if you have a circular crystal grid, your main crystal or your main object that you are using to represent the creation of health or wealth or love or jobs or business or success or opportunities or whatever it is, that main crystal or object you are using needs to be placed in the center of the circle because all the surrounding crystals that you are using to make the circle will draw and direct energy towards the center of the thing that you want to manifest. And this means that you as a creator must know the specific type of energy of the crystal that you are using for the circle, because that's the type of energy that will flow towards the center of your manifestation. So for example, if you want healing, the surrounding crystals would be crystals that support the energy of healing in the center. If you want a loving relationship, the surrounding crystals that you use would be crystals that support the energy of the love relationship, which is in the center and which is what you want. If you want more money, the surrounding crystals must be crystals that support the energy of abundance that is reflected in the center piece of what you want. This is where the energy will flow. And usually it will always look like this. The energy will flow from the circle towards the center. It will always look like this. So it's pretty simple. We got to know our crystals and how to work with these crystals and how the energies of these crystals support us in our process so that when we need assistance, we know exactly what to do and what crystals to use, right? It becomes so easy, so easy. 
Okay, the other important thing I want to share with you is how to build the circle correctly. Because if you don't build this circle correctly, then you're going to sabotage the energy flow process of your creation. So I think this is very important because you don't want to create a grid and then sit there and wait expectantly and then see no results. So this is what I suggest you do. After you have made a decision on what it is that you want to manifest, which is at the center of the circle like this, what you want to manifest, it could be anything, health, wealth, love, whatever, name it. It's all good. It could be anything. Anyway, after you have made that decision about what it is that you want to create, the next thing for you to do is to decide whether you want to increase the energy of that thing or you want to decrease the energy of that thing. And that is a very, very important decision because it determines how you are going to actually create the circle. And like I mentioned in the beginning, creating a circle, it seems like a simple thing, but there are certain things that if you don't understand can totally mess you up. Are you going to create this circle in a clockwise direction or are you going to create the circle in an anti-clockwise direction? What is the starting point? Energy flows in a particular pattern. It flows in a particular shape. So you need to consider things like, if I want to increase my health, how do I start creating my circle? From what point do I start creating my circle? To increase health. If I want to decrease something maybe it's a bad relationship or a bad way of being how do i create a circle grid to decrease that energy at what point do i make the starting point energy flows in a pattern so it's really really cool to know some of these things so here goes if you want to increase the energy of anything start creating your circle from the bottom in a clockwise direction this way this increases the energy. Don't start the energy from up here because this decreases the energy. If you want to increase something, start your crystal grid from the bottom of the circle and then move in a clockwise direction. If you want to decrease the energy of anything, start creating from the top of the circle and then move in a clockwise direction to decrease energy. So the bottom clockwise increase, top clockwise decrease energy. So that's crucial. So when you're using the energy of the circle and you want to increase your income, don't start creating your crystal grid from the top because the energy will be decreasing. And then you'll be sitting there and wondering what happened? What happened? How come things are not changing for me? Why? Because you have created a grid that in a way that decreases the energy of whatever it is you want. It's cool, right? So think about those kinds of things when you're creating energy. Top clockwise to decrease anything, bottom clockwise to increase anything. All right, because we now know that energy follows a particular path, the other thing that you need to pay attention to is that when you're using the energy of a circle, if you decide to create a crystal grid with a line in between or a cross in between, what you're actually doing is sabotaging the flow of energy. So if you are building a grid, with something in the center. Maybe you want to change a bad relationship or decrease the energy of a bad relationship and it's here in the center and you're placing your stones to decrease that bad energy. And then you decide at some point that you want to add some additional stones in the center coming in this direction. So the energy of the circle would flow and then when it gets to the center, it would break up because of this additional line of crystals that you have here or an additional line of crystals that you have here and then the energy will start moving in another kind of direction which is not really how the circular energy works with the focus of energy coming to the center of the crystal either to increase the energy or to decrease the energy so i know that other complicated types of crystal grids are out there but for the purposes of this simple crystal grid to increase or decrease energy with a focus in the center. Creating an additional structure in between takes the energy in a different direction. And so you might just be sitting there and wondering why certain things are not increase, uh, increasing or certain things are not decreasing, but you know why the energy flow went in a totally different direction. And you know, sometimes these things happen, but anyway, this kind of understanding sometimes is just necessary so that you can kind of focus your energy. And that's really the point of this video. So I hope you found some benefit from this video. 
and let me know how you use your circular grids or whether you've been sabotaging yourself in some way shape or form let me know in the comment section and if you need any help working with your spiritual tools send me an email at caroline at crystalstock.com and until next time create beautiful and powerful things and i love you guys <laughs>